How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be going over a recently added plugin which is called AI Doc Writer. And essentially this just auto-generates the documentation for your code for you without you having to lift a finger. So you can find it in the plugin store in PyCharm and it's just called AI Doc Writer by Mintlify. And as soon as you add that you can go back to your IDE. And it works in a very simple manner. All you have to do is highlight the code you want to document hold shift command plus full stop and it's going to generate the documentation for you such as printing the string this is amazing otherwise we have a result here we can do the same thing and we can also just right click and generate the docs up here so as you can see it's shift command plus dot and it's going to generate the documentation for this function over here, which assigns the value of the square root of 10 to the variable result. Now that's all cool and all, but those were some very simple functions. So let's go ahead and create something a bit more complicated, such as a class with a priority, which is an enum, and a function that uses that enum to actually print out some sort of log message. So once again, you can go here and you can use the combination or the shortcut and it's going to generate this documentation. Now, there is one drawback to this new plugin, and that is that it keeps on generating it with single quotation marks, and Python is not really happy about that, so you're going to have to convert that. But as soon as you convert it, you're going to notice it gives you a very accurate description of what you created here. Given a priority, print out a statement about the priority level. And you'll notice immediately down here, if we go ahead and type in priority level, and we give it priority, let's say low, we can go ahead and hover over this and you'll notice the documentation which says given a priority, print out a statement about the priority. It also tells you what kind of type it has and what type it returns. And it's just very smart, like we can actually go ahead and delete everything inside here once again. And now we can go ahead and say definition, destroy item, which will take an item of whatever that is. And we're just going to print that the item was destroyed. Once again, go ahead and highlight that, right click, generate the docs, and inside here we're going to get princess string and then the item that was passed in. And with the parameter, it's going to say the item to destroy. So once again, we have to hover here and convert the doc string to double quotation marks. But if we go ahead and type in destroy item and say Bob, for example, we can hover over this function and it's going to tell us print a string and then the item that was passed in. And it will also show the parameter descriptions. Now, of course, we can run that and Bob has been destroyed, but let's go ahead and create one more sample. So for my final example, I created a function that adds two friends together. One is name one and one's name two. It stores the value of name one and name two, which are now friends, into a text variable, and then it prints it and returns the text. So once again, go ahead and highlight that. You can use the shortcut and it's going to generate a doc string, which is quite accurate. We're going to get rid of the error immediately by converting the doc string, and then we will go ahead and call this function with Mario and Luigi. Now, if we hover over this function, we're going to notice that it says add two friends to each other. Name one is going to be a string, and name two is going to be the name of the friend to add to the list. And then it returns the text string. And of course, this might need some minor modifications but it gives you a really good placeholder and sometimes that can just be enough for your project so people don't get too confused. And we also have an option in the sidebar which tells us which kind of documentation type we want. I'm hoping in the near future they're going to add the Python function one or whatever it requires to make these double quotation marks because it is kind of annoying that we have to change that each time but this plugin is incredibly new so I'm sure they will fix that with time to come but that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.